in today's class we're going to be looking at excretion and homeostasis we will be looking at what is excretion making a distinction between excretion and ejection we will also be looking at secretion then we are going to up into the importance of excretion we are going to identify parts of the kidney and we're going to be labeling these parts and outlining the function of each. We will then move into a diagram of the skin where we're going to be labeling that skin. And of course, we're going to be asking the learner to outline the function of each labeled part. So grab your pen, grab your pencil, grab all your questions. Remember, you can leave a comment below this video, and I'll be too happy to respond so let's hop right into the lesson. now what is excretion we are seeing a picture here of an individual running and this running individual will pretty much give us some examples of excretory material but before we look at that, let us look at what is excretion. Important to note is that excretion is the removal of metabolic waste from the body. The question is asked, what is metabolic waste? Metabolic, the word suggests or encapsulate all those reactions that are taking place in the body. Uh, these would include respiration among others. Now, if it is a metabolic waste, it means that it was made in the body. If we were supposed to look at the amount of carbon dioxide that is inhaled versus the amount that is exhaled, then we would understand that from the process of respiration, we are pretty much generating carbon dioxide and we have to get rid of that carbon dioxide. Now, if a carbon dioxide is not get, um, taken care of, by pretty much excretion through exhalation, then this carbon dioxide would have acid, acidified the blood. And the blood being acidified, it would have caused lesion or sores on the skin. It is also true that while we have these many reactions taking place in the body, things like heat, temperature, heat, temperature, there's a little difference there. Uh, Heat, pretty much how hot or cold an object is, and pretty much temperature speaks to the degree of how hot or cold uh, something is. So that is like the unit of measurement. So while we respire, while we carry out our daily activity, we can attest to the fact that we are producing heat. Everyone can talk about that if you run from here to there, the body temperature rises. So it's all fair to say that this pretty much are took place in the process of metabolism or metabolic reaction. It is also true that as respiration takes place, we are going to be seeing these, or we have some knowledge of these things happening. So here we have water being produced, carbon dioxide being produced, urea being produced, and salt being produced. All of these are being produced while my friend here runs wherever he's going. He's giving off some water through the nostril, carbon dioxide through the nostril, and definitely the skin is giving off heat, urea, salt, and definitely water. But what's the importance of excretion? Excretion pretty much has two main goals. The first is to prevent the buildup of metabolic waste in the body, which are pretty much toxic and they could cause damage to cells or eventually kill the organism. So we want to make sure, like we said about carbon dioxide, if we leave these metabolic waste, these waste which were made in the body, if we were supposed to leave them in the body, they would become toxic and definitely they would damage cells or eventually kill the organism. Another important role of excretion 
is to ensure that a constant internal environment is maintained. What does that mean? It means that the body pretty much operates around a confined space. So your body temperature is just not about anything or the amount of water in your body, anything or the amount of sugar in your body, any no, it's not like that. The blood continues to flow over what is called the hypothalamus. And as the blood flows over this, the it is detecting, it's like the body's thermostat, what is happening. If the body temperature is too high, then it is going to trigger a response to lower the body temperature. And then you'll start to breathe very, very fast. You'll start sweating. You'll start um, asking for water to help cool down the body. And if the salt concentration of the blood is too much, so too the body will say to you, you are thirsty. You need to drink some water. And it will put your body in a state that you have to go and get some water. You're feeling that thirst. So the body operates around a constant environment, not asking you to maintain it more than to probably drink some water or to get some rest. Outside of that, most things are taken care of by what we refer to as a negative feedback mechanism, which we are going to be covering when we look at homeostasis, which is pretty much the maintenance of a constant internal environment. But what is ejection? It is popularly confused, or often confused, that feces is a type of excretory material. I'm here to blow your bubbles. Feces in itself is not an excretory material. Now, ejection is pretty much a removal of undigested food material from the body. So one might ask, but how is feces not un how is feces undigested food? Now, one of the things that we need to understand about the whole digestion process is that we ingest as human we have what we refer to as holozoic nutrition. So it's a five step process which includes ingestion, we take food inside the mouth. Then we digest the food by breaking down the food mechanically, and at which point it is changed into a ball we refer to as bolus. Then it moves into the stomach. And when it gets to the stomach, it is churned and chemicals added to it, like hydrochloric acid, mucus, water, that type of a thing, at which point it is called chyme. And then it moves again along the alimentary canal. And as it moves through the alimentary canal and gets to the small intestine, from this digested food, what is going to happen is that we're going to be having absorption taking place now. As this useful part of the food is absorbed by the amount that the body needs to use and store, then the rest will, of course, move on into ejection, where it pretty much moves out of the body. So this is not something that was made in the body. It just kept moving through the alimentary canal. The body used what it wanted from it and got rid of the excess. The truth is, assimilation is taking place between absorption, or assimilation is taking place at all times, even when you're eating the food, that is a part of assimilation. Assimilation is also use that energy, that nutrient from the food. So excretion is way, way different than ingestion. So we'll remember the five step and the Olozoic process, ingestion, digestion, absorption, assimilation and then ejection which is pretty much a removal of the feces from the body that pretty much entails a five-step process it's important to note again that feces is not an excretory matter as it was not made during metabolism during any other body chemical um, reactions metabolism is pretty much a net chemical reaction it speaks to all the chemical reaction that takes place in the body to pretty much here we have a toilet, and the toilet symbolizes that uh, the feces is pretty much talking to you now, and it is saying, I am not an excretor material, so stop making that mistake on your exam. You keep writing on your multiple choice paper that feces is an example of excretor material. So a big reminder here is this toilet who is talking to you and is pretty much saying, I am not an excretor material. Excretion should never ever be confused with ejection as the process of metabolism makes the difference. Here it is saying you cannot define excretion 
without using the word metabolism. Now, observe we are not saying waste here because the undigested food is pretty much waste. Once there is production, you are going to have some amount of waste. So, we don't want to go writing about a definition for excretion and we are not using the word metabolism. Excretion is a process by which metabolic waste is pretty much removed from the body, while ejection is a process in which undigested food is pretty much removed from the body. This is all we have for now. In our next video, we are going to be looking at a negative feedback mechanism.